Hey there, everyone, and thank you for joining us as we explore the different ways of naming angles. Now, naming a point is very easy, and any letter will do. Now, let's imagine that point as the vertex of an angle. And we can go ahead and add two new points that are also on the angle. Now, we can easily call this angle angle B, since B is the location of the vertex and I can't confuse it with any other angles. Now, simple is boring, so let's go ahead and make our diagram more complex. By extending our lines and adding two new points, we see now that we have four angles in total instead of just one. Notice now that in our new diagram, the name angle B is very ambiguous because it's the vertex of four different angles and we don't quite know which one you're talking about when you say angle B. So now we can learn a new way of naming angles to apply in situations just like this. So let's go back to the first angle that we started with. We'll call it the pink angle for this example. Now this is where the points come into place. Notice that that angle is contained within points A, B, and C, and B is still the vertex. So now to name this angle, we have to use all three letters. B stays in the middle since that's the vertex, and we can call this angle ABC. Now we can also notice that we can go in the reverse direction and see that CBA is another way of containing that angle. So we can reverse those letters and call this angle CBA. Either way is fine. The important thing is that your vertex is in the middle, in this case, point B. Now we'll use the same approach to name the green angle. Notice that that angle is contained within the points A, B, D. Those are the points that make up the angle on the lines that form the angle. So we're going to name this angle A, B, D. Notice again that B is in the middle since B is the vertex point. Now if we want to name our yellow angle, again, same process. We have to name it with three letters. In this case, we see that that angle is formed by points D, B, and E with B at the vertex. So we'll call this angle angle D, B, E. And finally, our blue angle is contained within the three points C, B, E, where B is the vertex, so we can name this angle, angle C, B, E. So naming angles should be pretty easy once you get the hang of it, and it's also super important. It shows up in geometry all the time. Just make sure you're familiar with it and comfortable using it. And this is usually where I tell a joke, but <laughs> I got nothing. So, see ya. <laughs> Thanks a lot guys for checking us out and please follow us on Instagram at MashupMath for daily math tips, animated flashcards, and our math in sports infographics. Check it out! <laughs>